She choked on her milk, her breathing slowed, and then there was no pulse. That's the new account from Sharon Matthews father about the final moments of this precious child's life. New documents also reveal that he admitted to removing the child's body from the home and the adoption officials who work with her in India are giving our Jobin Panikar new insight into how Sharon wound up here in America. Noise my head with oil, my cup overflows. A case that many felt didn't move fast enough is now at lightning speed. A father re-arrested. Wesley and his attorney voluntarily shared with detectives how Sharon died. A different story than his first when he said he left Sharon by this tree for punishment. So he was physically assisting her with that milk, apparently to the point to where she began to choke on that milk, uh, lost consciousness, and eventually expired. But today, we talked with the owner of the now-closed adoption agency that Sharon came from, with the help of a translator. <laughs> Babida Kumari says, quote, The child had no problem at all when she was here, neither in drinking milk or eating. During our conversation, Kumari said the Matthews couple appeared, quote, loving. Before they were united, she said Wesley called often for updates, even, quote, requested me to put a phone up to Sharon's ear so Sharon could hear their voice. Kumari is heartbroken by all that has happened, even entertains the idea to stop all outside country adoptions. On Tuesday, Richardson police met with the Indian consulate to go over those adoption procedures. What role the Indian government will play is unclear. Sharon Matthews was found dead in that culvert just minutes from the home. The medical examiner confirmed that Tuesday. Wesley, now... Stand by. Now, we got this statement from the church that the Matthews attended. This is this reads as members of the Emmanuel Bible Chapel. We are truly saddened and grieved by the tragic news we have received about our dear Sharon Matthews. All of us greatly miss her radiant smile, high fives and joyful singing of her favorite Sunday school songs. Now, we believe she is now in heaven in the arms of our blessed savior. We are very appreciative of the Richardson Police Department and related agencies for their efforts and will continue to support them in every way possible in the ongoing investigation. Our congregation continues to pray for Sharon's older sister as she grieves both the loss of her sister and separation from her immediate family. We continue to put our trust in our sovereign God and pray for justice for Sharon and peace for all those facing this very difficult period. Again, that statement coming from Emmanuel Bible Ch Chapel, the chapel that the Matthews attended. We are live out here near the culvert where Sharon uh, Matthews was found. We we're being told that Wesley Matthews will be transferred to Denton County, uh, D Dallas County Jail tomorrow. Reporting live here in Richardson, Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Jobin.